Hey, what's going on everyone? Model Deer Farmer back with you today on American Farming. I did have another episode recorded um, before this one, but uh, the file, video file got corrupt. So, I do not have that one for us today. So it is nighttime. We got our fields worked. I've been doing some playing around. We just got this uh, field right behind us planted, which was our big field that we were harvesting corn on. I am playing on controller today because um, it seems to be a lot easier to play this game on controller. Um, so we're going to be doing that. But we are going to come over here and get going planting. The only downside to uh, my Xbox controller here is it has a lot of stick drift. So bear with me here. But we'll get the planter unfolded, put in the ground. 12 row planter. So we'll do the pass around the outside here. And then probably hire a helper for the rest of the field. This isn't a very big field. Um, but we're going to get going on another project after that. So I got a helper hired um, on that other field. We have some P and K in our spreader today. I already spread urea on both of our fields. And then we went to the co-op to empty out our urea which I'll show you how to do after we finish up with P and K here uh, but we we will come out to the field I believe this should work we planted this field the only thing I don't like about the planting texture is that the crops are already growing right after you plant them ah, there we go so now we are getting our P and K spread out for a good corn crop in the game you need both urea which is your nitrogen fertilizer as well as P and K. P and K is going to help with it as well so that is our second product that we're getting applied to this field here and then we will over on the other field too once we get done with this one. Also as far as equipment goes since we uh, last were on here on the last episode I just ended up getting another Kilbro's gravity wagon that's pretty much all I've done. Um, we've I sold the in-game cattle trailer uh, because we're not going to be doing much on our pig farm right now. Uh, so I just went ahead and sold that just to get us a little bit more money right now because I would like to pick up this field that's straight ahead of us. It's right next to our farm. It's like seventy something thousand dollars. Um, so we'll get there eventually. I did. Uh, I've been playing around a little bit, so I actually did harvest both of these fields uh, off screen. And the corn is in our grain bins over there storing. So we will be able to sell that when the price is higher. We also uh, dried it down because when you harvest it off the field, it comes off the field at 20% moisture. We were able to dry it down to, with the dryer function to about 15% moisture. So then we'll be able to get a lot better product or a lot better price for our product at the co-op once we take it there. So we finished up with our headland pass so we're probably just gonna get going back and forth in straight passes now um, and I would assume by the time we get this field done that the other helper will probably be done with the other field planting it. Honestly even though this little Farmall M doesn't have that much horsepower and is a pretty small tractor it is handling this spreader very well. The spreader requires 30 horsepower I think and the Farmall ends up having 40 so it works out just fine. I would like to tr try out doing some soybeans on American farming here, but the only thing that's kind of keeping me from doing that right now is that I feel like I looked and a soybean head is like $60,000 right now, and like we're not even close to that. But I do think that our planter that we have could end up planting soybeans I'd just like to see in comparison uh, if they make us a little bit more money than corn because I know they have a higher higher price at the elevator but they also there's not as much of them um, yield wise but I would just like to try them out here so one of these times definitely after playing with a controller for a while on this game I definitely would say that that's the way to go it seems like it's a lot easier to play the game with the controller I just, I don't know, my fingers all over the screen, trying to see, and sometimes it not thinking that I'm actually touching the screen, 
made it a little bit hard to go in a straight line. I do like with the controller, it's just like playing Farming Simulator on my Xbox, it gets me straight lines and I can kind of just be able to see the whole screen while I'm playing. Okay, and there we go. We wrapped up with our bigger field here. It's like four and a half acres or so, I think. So we're probably going to head over here to our other field, which is a small two acre or so field on the other side of the yard. And I think the tractor and planter is probably about done. There's our second gravity wagon as well. One thing to note is that you can only hire one AI helper per field at a time. I figured that out because I was trying to run two separate helpers, um, but that does not work. But looks like he's about to finish up here just on the last pass of planting corn. Also, if none of you guys have noticed so far throughout this video, it is nighttime right now. Um, so the actual the actual look of the game, uh, just looking with, if you're looking right now, you wouldn't be able to tell it's nighttime. Uh, so that is, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it, but I, uh, so far I haven't found a way to turn on lights, but in the mobile farming simulator games, the lights turn on automatically on the equipment. Um, but the sky does look very nice, though. Just about wrapping up the field here, and there we go, we are done. Now I'm gonna show you something that I figured out that is pretty cool, um, that I ended up showing in the video that I recorded that then corrupt. So we're just gonna go ahead and show you guys again. So we got all of our P and K put down on our corn fields. So now we don't need any more. The next thing we're gonna put on is urea um, next time we plant. So I'm gonna go show you guys how we can get rid of this P and K because I have a third of a spreader full that I don't really need. So we're gonna come over here to the Ye old Mill, which is pretty close to our farm. And that's where we picked up our P and K from. From this little stack of pallets over here. Now I've been really good at hitting. Ooh, I didn't hit the pallets with the forks this time, so that's good. Um, but so we can come over here, and then we hit the little shopping cart with like the green button, and it is selling all of our P and K right now, which is pretty cool. So we sold eighteen hundred, almost nineteen hundred dollars of P and K that we didn't need. So I like that feature. We'll head back on over to the farm now and get this probably just pulled somewhere on the yard and maybe put in a shed because we aren't going to be needing this anymore for a while. Now we're kind of just in a waiting phase. Oh, there's the stick drift again. Kind of in a waiting phase because we only have two fields right now. Like I said, I would be able to like, I would like to be able to expand to a third field, um, but don't quite have the funds to do that right now. And from what I've been looking, I haven't found anywhere we can take out a loan. Um, so we're just going to have to keep building up our farm up. We'll get the tractor and planter also brought it back up to the farmyard. There we go. We got that part there. Come over here. Find our tractor. We'll go ahead and fold it up. It's taking a little bit of getting used to for the controls on the Xbox controller with the game. But I think once I get used to them, it should be fairly easy. So this is our narrow front 1066 tractor and as you can see it's starting to get to be morning time on the farm so we'll get this pulled over here it does get a little bit lighter during the uh, day just park that in the shed there for now now I'm gonna show you guys over here how to dry your crops now I haven't put any crops in there it does cost a little bit of money well I have crops in the bins but not since I dried it last time so you're gonna come over to this little fire icon right here and then there's a fire icon on the left side of your screen then it'll say farm number four bin site dryer activated which it's not gonna do anything right now because I don't have anything in there nothing new to dry but then if we go to storage we have 1263 bushels of corn and it is at 15% moisture because I have dried it down. So we can make a fair amount of money here. Um, whenever our markets are good, which I don't think they're very good right now, looks like kind of July is our prime time to uh, sell the corn. Uh, we'll have to haul a whole bunch of loads in once we get to that point. Right now it is February on the farm, apparently, even though everything's green, but that's all good. Our uh, corn's growing here. But not much else we can do for right now. Kind of just got to wait for our little corn to grow now. So 
that's probably going to be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave a like on the video and think about subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything. But we're on the race to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the calendar year, so you got a little bit over a month to do that. So if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. Also, if you have any comments or questions about American farming or anything that I showed you today, you can leave those down in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video of American farming, episode 2, should have been 3. But hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.